Juice World's second posthumous album, Fighting Demons, will be officially released on December 10th, and this is great news for the community because everyone's been eager to listen to new music, everyone wants this rollout to happen, and we finally have confirmation. So today, we'll be talking about all of that, we'll be talking about the new song, the new trailer, and everything else that has just started. So if you guys want to stay updated with this whole Juice World rollout, please press the subscribe button, we'll keep you updated with all the videos, all the content, everything else that comes with it. So Lou, let's start this off, man. Are you finally happy that we have a release date? I mean, how long is it? been now since we've been talking about a, a juice world posthumous album. yeah it's been too long and i mean after the title change from the party never ends to fighting demons i mean it kind of felt like this album was in like limbo and that it maybe would never come out but i'm happy that the camp will finally actually live up to their promise of this posthumous album because the fans deserve it i mean there's been so much teasing going on month after month and to finally have confirmation is great news for the fandom of juice world and speaking on the latest updates we do know that this album will be released on december 10th 2021 and this was announced on juice world social media accounts and we got this trailer that actually starts off with a black screen and it reads you are not your struggles addiction anxiety depression do not define you and this is beautiful because Juice World's message within his music has always been to uplift his fans and to spread positivity and tell them that they're not alone and that all these mental health struggles or substance abuse issues can be resolved and his music really like kind of contributed towards that goal so it's cool to know that that message will be um, prevalent within the music now that we're getting a new posthumous That's album. That's very true, and I think it's always been throughout his music. He's very emotionally raw. He's very uncut. He doesn't necessarily have a filter when it comes to when it comes to actually like expressing his actual emotions. And we see this on the new song um, "Already Dead." Well, where, before we get to that, there's uh, actually the documentary that's coming. There's out a on documentary the called "Into the Abyss," which will be released a week after the album's release on December 16th. And before we get to the song, how did you feel about the trailer? I've been watching the trailer throughout it. Yeah, yeah, it was super cool because it was nice. You, you kind of see that there's going to be a lot of BTS footage. It was also very um, centered around his shows. You saw him performing a lot. And um, I just, I, I love the whole message of like, just trying to show like the, the, the genuine raw talent of Juice World and seeing like what type of impact that he's left on this world. I think that's what's important out of the documentary. And um, now shifting my focus, at least onto the song Already Dead, like this, you know, this coming with it and this starting off this whole rollout was the perfect song to do so. I mean, Juice World fans, you know, the, the diehard fans probably heard it before and they were probably uh, accustomed to it. But I, it was the first time I heard it tonight and I was really taken away by it. Um, I really do enjoy it, especially with how raw he is. Like when you're talking about your addictions and anxieties like that and you're being able to just flat out say, yes, I have a problem and I think that I need to really resolve this and you need to really, you know, take a grip. I need to take a grip of my life. That's fucking raw, bro. Like there's really no other artist that does that like Juice World, And I think that's why he has one of the most diehard fan bases in all the industry. It's because they look to him for guidance they look to him to be able to relate to him and to be able to find you know let's say you know underlying silver linings behind his music so that's how i'm feeling about the single but how about you as a whole i think i mean yes it was a leak and a lot of the songs that we might get on the album might be leaked songs which is a bit unfortunate but if you're a fan like just stay away from that and wait for the actual music to be released to support um, the juice world camp and not only that but i mean speaking on already dead i think that it's a bit hard to hear as a Juice World fan. It's a bit crushing given the subject matter. I mean, he's talking about it's how... It's raw, bro. Yeah, he's hearing voices in his head saying, everyone wants me dead. And then he also says, I'm only staying alive for the fans. Like, it's truly heartbreaking to hear him um, be so vulnerable, but it's also very real and authentic. So I appreciate that. And um, I just love the fact that this song is quality and it just proves to me that there's so many other great Juice World songs that are in the vault. And like, we do know that he's recorded thousands of, you know, songs that have not been released. So it's, it's really mind blowing to me that he had this much quality saved up. And speaking of already dead itself, I love the production. You got a nice piano riff, you get loud bass for the drum pattern and um, really well executed production. Apart from that, I love the reverb that goes behind Juice World's vocals. I thought that was really well done. And um, like I said, very catchy melody throughout and it's just amazing to see that you know song after song he's keeping it vulnerable he's keeping it real with the fans and spreading positivity about you know like how they could cope with pain how they could cope with whatever substance abuse issues they might be facing and he also says he has a line where he says um have you ever been so alone and like that line sums up like what the fan base means, you know, how they're all connected and how they all relate to, you know, having loneliness and feeling loneliness like we all do, but also being able to like come together as one as the Juice World community. And like, 
it really is one of the strongest fan bases, I think, of the last decade. So I think the fans are going to rejoice after hearing this. And I'm just happy that they're finally getting the album. Absolutely. You know? And it's nice to see that our roll is finally starting to happen. So guys, just do a little recap. New song already dead out right now. New album, December 10th, called Fighting Demons. There was a title switch. Um, now there is also a new trailer for Into the Abyss, the new documentary that will be dropping on December 16th. Um, so guys, we're going to be keeping you updated with all the review reactions when all of this um, comes out. It's obviously going to be different. Like We're not going to be grading anything going through this posthumous album. It's just it's unfitting. We don't do that here. And uh, we're going to be going through the documentary as well if we have time um, later on if we end up doing post content on it but look guys listen if you like this new video um, please hit the subscribe button and smash the like button for us so we get to more Juice World fans thank you so much for coming in today and we'll catch you in the next one Thank you for watching the video. It's always a pleasure doing content for you guys. Listen, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because we're doing album reviews and we actually have our series called Everything We Know where we take you guys through the whole album rollout of the hottest releases of the year. Not only that, guys, but our Patreon plan is now live. You guys can access that in the bio. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you on the next one.